The wisteria lamp was one of the most popular of the Tiffany lamps. It was made as a unit so that the shade and the base came together. There are two examples here. You may have noticed a third earlier in the exhibition. It's interesting to compare them. Even within the blue and white palette with green leaves, there are a lot of variations depending on which of the girls was cutting the glass, perhaps, or what the sheets of glass were in the studio. Were they bluer or paler, or some of them have a slight pink tinge to them? The backgrounds differ in being different kinds of glass. In fact, demand for the wisteria lamps was so great that some were made by men out in the Queen's factory. Clara, however, doubted whether they had the skills. It is beyond their capacity and quality. So I want to have a sort of supervision over it, which will require great tact and diplomacy not to get the union by the ears. This was two years after the men's strike over the role of women at Tiffany Studios, and tension between the sexes apparently still existed. Still, Clara didn't want to see her beloved design ruined. I am to make a color scheme for them and send over glass and then go and criticize. I do hope it will be all right. 